Lisa Hero or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope it's a wonderful one. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting and if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I have another small shop haul for you guys here today. I feel like it's been a while since I've opened some small shop packages. I actually have a drawer full of these packages waiting to be filmed and today is the perfect day. I am ready. There are going to be four different shops in this video and right now I don't even know what they are. So let's start with the first one. We will start with the purple package. Now all of these packages have been cut open just so it's easier for me to share. I also like to make sure that the invoices, if there are any, are out before I film and that's it. Now this is my first order from, let me zoom in a bit, Sleepy Puppy 3D. So. In my Facebook group, DAC Fans Canada, there have been quite a few people who have posted trays from this shop that have been really happy with them, so I thought I should try them. They are a Canadian small shop based in Quebec, I believe. They are on Etsy, and this is their shop name. I will also have a link to all of these shops in the description box of the video, so it's easy for you to find them. On the back, it's just blank. They've also sent some pretty stickers. Those are always nice inclusions. I always save these stickers for, see if it focuses. I always save these stickers for my calendar. And this is a little cover minder. This is a freebie. Let me just take it out of the bag here. Oh, that's very cute. It's a little paw print, which is right on brand. Cover minders have two magnets on the back. This little paw print will sit on top of your canvas. This other magnet goes underneath and it just helps hold back that plastic cover when you're diamond painting or I actually use these to secure release papers and I have a bunch of these small ones on the side of my fridge so I do not lose them. This little blue tray here is actually a freebie as well. You can use this for a trash drill minder or I've actually seen some people say they use this if they're working on a confetti heavy painting or if they're realizing they missed just a couple diamonds, they pour it into this little tray, give it a little shake and they are good to go. But I like diamond painting with a regular size tray so I picked up these two. Now they did have a few different varieties of trays however I like this type of tray and this shape of tray. So these are the ones I picked up. Now I'm gonna pop the size up on screen because I can't quite remember if they call this one large and small. I'm assuming probably so, but I do wanna give you the most correct information. First looks, this looks like a great tray. They actually have this ledge here. This is meant to work like the washi tape hat, which has been going around on social media where people put washi tape at the ends of their trays for the diamonds to line up on instead of directly in the lines of the tray. To me, I don't really care if it has it because when I shake my diamonds, I actually kind of shake them down into this corner. So for me, it doesn't really matter, but I know a lot of you like it, so I thought I would try this one out. And you know what I should have brought is some diamonds to see how these trays line up. Here is the small one. I thought this one would be good for areas where you only need a few diamonds to put on your canvas and I find pouring them into a big tray cumbersome. This one would be perfect. I usually like having a, a bigger tray and a smaller one side by side when I am diamond painting and then I can choose which one to use. I am going to be right back with some diamonds. Okay, I've just grabbed some diamonds from my current whip. These are from Diamond Art Club and they are squares. And let's see how this tray shakes out. I probably poured too many. I'm used to a bit of a bigger tray, but look at that. That works fairly well. You can see how shiny those resin diamonds are too. They shaked really nicely in the tray. Now this color is obviously purple and it's a regular filament. So if you've been around, you know I usually reach for silk filaments, but I wanted a purple tray and I thought this one was nice because it's a lighter color. So it'll be easy for my eyes to see. And I'm happy with how it is lining up those diamonds. The height of the tray, it is shorter than what I typically go for, but it's not too bad. What I would suggest is getting used to shaking the tray so you don't accidentally make them fall off the outside, right? Which, is, which we've all probably done. Now, let me pour a few into the small tray and see how it shakes up without making a mess. There you go. So again, it lines up those diamonds really nice. 
So there you go, it lines up those diamonds really nice. I'm really happy with the first look at these. Now, of course, when you sit down to diamond paint and really work with them, uh, I may have some differing opinions, but on first look, they look great. It is nice to have another Canadian shop with some products that we can support. And as you saw that their trays do come with stoppers as well, which just fit in the end of the tray there. So here are the new trays from, again, Sleepy Puppy 3D. So I'm gonna pop these over to the side here and let's get into the next package. Let's do this one. I think these are a bunch of pens from another Canadian small shop. And there are some candies in the bottom. So yes, this is from Creations More In. So if you are um, part of my Facebook group, you probably have heard of this shop already. They have become quite popular quite quickly. They sell diamond painting putty and diamond painting pens. She did send a beautiful rose cover minder. I absolutely love this. Look at that beautiful rose. They have the nice neodymia magnets on the back. Again, works the same as the cover minder I showed you from Sleepy Puppy. Couple candies. Now I did pick up a whole bunch of scents from some of her recent drops. We've got Champagne Toast, Easter Flowers, Jasmine, Frosted Coconut Snowball, and Holiday Coffee. Let me just open the first one just to show you what her putty looks like. And I need to give it a quick smell. That's really nice. I like her scents because they're not super strong and overbearing. They're just enough that you get, you know, the occasional whiff of the scent, but it's not something that's going to cause headaches for people who are migraine prone, or at least the type of migraines that I get. I tolerate this putty really well. And yeah, there's a nice size there. That is going to last quite a while, to be honest. I use putty in my multi-placer. And then sometimes I will use it in my single placer. It just kind of depends on the day. Uh, I usually use a hard wax in my single placer, but if it's giving me troubles, I will swap it out to putty. It usually depends on the temperature of the day as to how each substance will work the best. What is in here? I always like when shops go above and beyond and add these little special touches. It just adds a little bit of personalization and of course we've got some more beautiful stickers I love that one but first coffee I actually had a cover minder like that uh, I ended up using it in one of my event giveaways she has putty instructions here so if you are new to using her product she has some instructions which is a nice touch as I said there can be uh, tricky issues with putty depending on how warm it is where you live if you're in a very warm climate Sometimes putty can be quite soft, and if you're in a very cold climate, sometimes it can be quite hard. Safety instructions on the back, which is nice. And then a little thank you so much, Elise. Enjoy your pens and goodies. Happy diamond painting, Joni. So that is the owner of Creations Morin. She also, um, her husband also helps her out with the business as well by turning all of our pens. I have, as you can see, collected uh, four diamond painting pens here and she just turned them when it was my turn. You can actually choose blanks from her shop. She does Facebook Lives where you can see the blanks in real time and purchase the blanks that they then turn. They are very organized and on their Facebook group, they have a schedule with everybody's name. So it's really easy for you to see where you are in the list for your pens to be turned. I will also post a link to their Facebook group in the description box of the video. But let's see all of the pens I got. You guys, I went kind of crazy. Here is the first pen here. Isn't that just pretty? So this one is a blank that has purples and teals and blues. And there's a bit of white in there too, all mixed in here. Now, I believe I asked her to turn all of these pens in the regular uh, width or grip, which I tend to like. It's very comfortable to hold hold on both ends. They've included plastic tips for free. I actually usually just pop my metal tips from Diamond Art Club in them and I've never had a problem with them fitting. I love this kind of fancy turn style where there's some bumps and grooves in the center of the pen. I always like that. If you see a pen on her Facebook group and you really like the shape, you can actually send her a message when you're ready to purchase your pen and ask her to make it in that shape. Now, some blanks may not be able to be made into certain shapes for whatever reasons. It kind of depends what is inside the blank. 
Uh, for example, flowers might be a little more difficult to turn. We do have a flower pen in here, which I can't wait to see. Oh, this is the flower pen as we speak of it. Wow, look at this. This is a beautiful hybrid. So when we're talking pens and we talk about a hybrid, that means that there is usually wood and resin or resin and flowers mixed in there. I absolutely love this one. This blank, the flower blank itself, was made by Flower Girl Blanks. If you haven't heard of her, she is a pro at making beautiful flower blanks. She also turns pens sometimes, but other blank turners like Joni can purchase the blanks and sell them on their website. This is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the turning style. You guys did a really good job at turning the flowers. I'm sure that they are a bit tricky. I'm definitely happy with this one and I definitely see myself ordering more flower blanks in the future from Joni because this pen really does look amazing. The finish is really nice too. There's no imperfections or scratches or dents or unpolished areas. It looks awesome and it's very lightweight and easy to hold or comfortable to hold on either end. Here we have another one. So this one is, oops, sorry. This one is a purple resin with some stars and moons. And I asked her to turn this one a bit shorter. So this is a shorter style than the typical pen she turns. I find them sometimes easier to flip in my hand. So I do like usually having one mini pen and one regular pen on the go at the same time for the same painting. And that way, depending on how my hand is, I can switch back and forth between the pens. This one is beautiful. Again, I just saw the turning styles that I liked and told her to make something similar. The final pen here, I believe is another hybrid if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this one is just a wood and resin hybrid. There is a light colored wood on both sides with a beautiful red shiny resin in the middle. Again, I asked her to turn this a bit short. Very, very lightweight. That's the thing with wood. It is very lightweight to hold. So if you're somebody who struggles with the weight of pens, I would look for one that has some wood in it. Of course, if it's entirely made of wood, it would be very, very lightweight. But even just with a little bit of resin here, it's still pretty light to hold. These are beautiful Joni. I absolutely love all these pens. My favorite by far is always the flower blanks. I have a weakness for flower blanks. I can't wait to see what other ones you turn. And I really like this one too. I'm really happy I went through and purchased this one. Sometimes it can be hard to visualize what a pen may look like once it is turned. So those are beautiful. Now, let's get into the next package here. This is from a new to me shop. Let me see, she does have her info here. So let me pull this up. This is from Crafting Cat UK. So they're based in the UK and they make diamond painting putty. I heard some great reviews from other community members. So I wanted to try it for myself. That is a beautiful little business card. On the back, she has her Etsy, YouTube and Facebook links. She actually also does uh, some sneak peeks for Diamond Art Club too. If you did not know, I would check out her channel. I will link her YouTube channel in the comments as well, or sorry, the description box of the video. I forgot that I ordered this. I believe this is a little trashy pot. So I saw this on her website and I thought that is interesting. Let me see if I can open it. Does it pop or does it twist? Nerve damage, you guys. It's really hard to do anything with nerve damage hands. So it does, it kind of pops and twists. So yeah, this is a little trash pot. What I might do is actually glue a magnet to the back of this. And then that way I can attach it onto my canvas when I'm diamond painting. And that's a great size for a little trash pot. But when I saw that on her Etsy listing, I thought that was so beautiful. And I added that to my cart. And the rest of the stuff that I've gotten is putty. Now let's see what this is. So she does send an instructional pamphlet here for using her putty as well. Each putty may be made with different ingredients. So each shop should have their own instructions. Usually there are some helpful tips as well. And then here she says she is thankful for my order. She also has a Facebook group. So I will link that down below. I did not know she had a Facebook group. Awesome, thank you very much, Kat. I don't even know if she follows my channel, but if you do, thank you. Now I ordered a few different putties because whenever I'm ordering from international, you might as well make shipping worth it. So I got Beneath the Stars, Pajama Time, Be My Honey, April Showers, and Sweet Cuddles. I'm only gonna open one of them 
just to see what they look like and kind of give my first impressions on the scent. So this one is, what did I say? Sweet Cuddles. That is very nice. It's not too strong. It's actually a nice, nice scent. And if you look closely at her putty, if I can get it, see that shimmery? She makes her putty a little bit different. There's different colors in it. They're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very light colors pastel kind of vibes and then it looks like there's a gold mica powder on top with a bit of glitter so that makes it just extra fun. This is a great kind of standard size for a diamond painting putty brick and that will last a long time as well. This one I would say the fragrance is a bit stronger than Creations More In fragrance. Just in the short time having it open there I can really smell this one. And I've heard great things. Her putty actually, it does feel a little bit more firm than most putties I'm used to, which is a good thing. I like firm putty. So I can't wait to test this one out in a whip and chat. Again, I will link her shop in the description box of the video for everybody. And I'm also gonna post what shipping cost up on screen. I can't remember what it is. Now I have one more package here and this is from another Canadian shop. You might recognize the packaging here. Let me show you this one because she does have a QR code. This is from Bee's Crafty Corner. The owner over there is Sabrina and she started making diamond painting release paper with printed designs sometime last year. Here is the QR code. You can actually scan that for a free phone background. I believe it gives you the phone background of the release paper you chose. So this one is a beautiful floral. I wanted something nice and bright to go with some of my diamond paintings. Let me open it here. She is playing around, yes. So she is playing around with different kind of papers and she recently started putting on her shop a matte type of paper. That's the type I really like. So if you, it's hard to see in camera, but it's not super glossy. It's, it's very soft to the touch. I prefer this just as a sensation. So I, I like using matte papers. This one, from what I remember, is a little bit thinner than her glossy version, but it still has a good weight to it. I still think it's going to last quite a while. And these kind of papers are re reusable. I usually reuse them until they have little tears in them, and then I toss them in the garbage because if you start getting tears, you might have parts of the paper sticking to your diamond painting, which you don't want. So, And of course, these are single-sided. You put the white side down. As you can see, the white side is glossy because it is a non-stick paper. There is this one. This one is ordered in the largest size she offers. I believe it's five by three inches, something around there. I will pop the exact dimensions up on the screen. I like this size myself, but I did want to order some other ones. Oh, that's right. This one is for Valentine's Day now. Valentine's Day has since passed. I've gotten behind on my small shop hauls but I did want to get this one. I thought the pattern was just so cute. I remember as a child in elementary school around Valentine's Day, everybody had these little hearts to go around. Again, I got this one in the mat. You can't see it, but it feels really nice. And again, it's single-sided. The glossy side goes down. And this is the same size. It's about a five by three. And then this one, I actually just threw this one in here. I forgot to show you guys the glossy finish. This is from a previous purchase. Actually, I purchased it for the Richard Lorenz diamond painting event that was in Feb uh, sorry January and most of February. I did use some of these on my diamond painting, but I had a few left over. So you can see here, this is the glossy version. So the glossy version versus the matte edition, the matte doesn't shine like that. The texture is also very different. This feels just like photo paper if I had to describe it. It is similar how the back is a nonstick paper so it is single sided only you want the pattern to face up. I just wanted to show you these ones also are a little bit thicker in in width when you compare the two. And as far as I know she still offers both of these options in her shop. Well you guys that is it for this small shop haul. I am really excited to sit down and work with some of these products. Actually all of these products I can't wait to try the different scented putties and of course my flower pen that is going to be by far one of my favorite things from this order. You cannot go wrong with flowers you guys. And yeah, I'm excited to try these trays too. So I've heard good things and I can't wait to try them. If you've purchased from any of these small shops yourself, let me know in the comments. What did you guys get? If you have any questions about specific 
products that I did not go over, feel free to ask those down below as well. And I always like to ask if there are new shops out there or shops that you haven't seen me unbox that you would like to see me unbox, leave those suggestions in the description box too. I always like supporting new shops and trying out new things. So if there's something you're on the fence about and you want me to try it first, by all means, leave the suggestion down below. Now, if you are new and you've made it to the end here, you'll probably like it here. So I would love it if you click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.